So uh, now you are coming to America, you fly. I Was it your first time to travel outside of the country? Exactly, yeah. Uh, how was the experience flying? Uh, which port of entry did you go through? Uh, I remember um, I go through Qatar. In Qatar, okay. So I, yeah, yeah. So I, I had uh, several flights. Uh, I From Tanzania, I, I just dropped Qatar. Qatar, I took another airport to Los Angeles, to LA. From there, I went to uh, Seattle, Washington, and then I just take the last flight to Oregon. So uh, I took almost four flights. And because of the pandemic, you don't do the, uh, the orientation, I mean, the, within the U.S.? Yeah, what did you do online do the same way? Yeah. Okay, for us it uh, was different. You you have to come first for like uh, ten days before you are going to your school to a different mm. university. So, for instance, mm. uh, I flew to Stanford in San Francisco mm. for one mm. like ten days, then go to mm. my. Uh, so your host university. Yeah, I went to Stanford first. Then from there, I went to my university, which was Marshall University in West Virginia. Mm. There are some questions I know that people are asking here about Fulbright. We yeah. are going through those kind of questions in a minute. But I want to just mm -hmm. to get some background before we start hitting the specific questions. So can you go ahead okay. and continue asking questions? Today we want to ask you more questions about education rather than Green Card Lottery so people can be able to focus on that particular angle. So okay. what was the first thing which you knew about America excited about America maybe watching the movie or talking to people or this is what and once you arrive in America it was a completely different ball game oh uh, uh, by the way the first thing that uh, people used to tell me before I came here is like um, American people are too uh, self-centered they are individualist people like they really don't care about about strangers and so you have to just mind your own business and watch what you are saying like be careful of what uh, you are and uh, in front of them and a lot of things by the way i was told and uh some extent uh it wasn't i i felt like these people are totally like selfish that was my imagination when yeah. I saw those kind of things. But uh, I found it, it is different because uh, they do care. Yes. They do care because I, I was able to meet with some people and I had friends. But they really want to have time for themselves sometimes. And another thing I remember when I was uh, traveling, I, I tend to use public bus, public uh, buses. Yeah. Yes. And every time when people were dropping where with their stops, it's like, thank you, driver. Thank you, thank you. That was very strange to me. Like, <laughs> back home, I used, when I drop, I just drop and go back to, I mean, go ahead with my activities. But here, everyone you have to say thank you, thank you. And I was like, okay. Now, I was wondering how much driver is tired of responding to those things. <laughs> same things. <laughs> but it is the culture, by the way. It is. It is the culture, and it might differ from one state to another. Yes. I was in Oregon. Maybe it might differ to another state. So I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure. So I was just learning, but it was a good thing. And another thing, uh, when I was passing in the street, people like people are greeting you, even if they don't know you. You see. Yeah. But when I I refer that experience back to Tanzania, you might pass, and people don't really greet each other. If a person greets you, that means he wants to ask something or they want to be friends. They want you to be friends and all that. But here, people can greet you. If I greet you, it doesn't mean that I want to be your friend. Yes. So it's like, okay, I was <laughs> like, hi, hi, very friendly. And later on, you can meet the same person. It's like, what? Wait, what do you say? So it's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is really different, different culture, but it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh what are the we're talking about culture? What are the things you wish you could know? That those things you could know and it could make your life easier or better, you came to know in a hard way. Let me give you an example. Uh, let's say, for instance, uh, someone might not knowing. I'm giving example. Let's say uh, you are a teacher. Uh, yelling to a student, I'm giving example, in Africa, even at the university, that's normal, sometimes. 
here is not normal. So there are certain things maybe you didn't uh, know, you wish you could know earlier. I mean, whether it would be in teaching, whether it would be the normal American life, whether it would be like even just like an apartment concept, or just like using of the online purchasing, whatever it is, what are the things you wish you could know before your life could be easier than expected? Mm. Uh, uh, frankly speaking, I can say uh, maybe most of the things I was already like guided. I had a uh, good guidance uh, from the former Fulbrighters who were here and they really tried their best to share the experience with me and I took it and I came with it here. And well, I just passed in a, in a smooth way, I can say, but uh, the things that are uh, that I really try to to cope is like when we're in the class, you know, in Tanzania, uh, we really respect our teachers, our instructors. Yes. And even if the term is over, you have to wait until the teacher finish everything. So you're not supposed to like <laughs> teacher the term is over. You cannot say that. <laughs> but here it was like it was really strange. The term is over, and I had one student telling the instructor, the professor, you see that excuse me somebody time is over just straight like that and it was it was so amazing and surprised like how can a student tell the teacher something like that he knows that the time is over but there's something that is like he wants to finish <laughs> up and <laughs> they really don't have patience so it's like they they, they really they're straight with what they miss right i can say they don't have that fear of a teacher or instructor or professor or whatever as we do in tanzania that's a very good uh, way to put it forward, yeah.